Uh, sepsis is a life-threatening medical condition um, that arises when, these, when the body attempts to fight a, a local infection which becomes systemic. Uh, highlighted recently with the cases such as William Mead, uh, the 12-month-old uh, in 2014. The body goes into overdrive trying to fight this infection and it can, it can reduce the blood flow um, to vital organs, the brain, the heart, the kidneys. Um, and it's, what's really important is that we prevent that happening early. We know that um, by every hour that goes by that we don't get the sepsis treatment, um, it, the mortality rate increases by 7.6% each time. There's 150,000 cases of sepsis each year, um, 44,000 deaths, of which 12,500 uh, are preventable. And it's those 12,500 preventable deaths that we're really focusing on at the moment. Preventing sepsis is, is, is relatively easy, it's re the, the treatment isn't complex, um, it's about implementing the sepsis 6 care bundle um, which, in, which in Barnsley is uh, called the Fabulous um, and it's implementing all that within the hour. Fever, any fast heart rate, any um, uh, rapid breathing, um, feeling dizzy, nauseous, um, diarrhoea, um, chills, feverish, if you feel extremely hot or extremely cold, slurred speech, severe muscle pain, um, any acute confusion, um, being cold, clammy, anything like that. But these are all, um, in isolation, these don't necessarily suggest sepsis. Um, it's the bigger picture that forms the impression that, um, that when a patient's diagnosed with a systemic infection. The mortality figures for sepsis are incredibly high, quite scary. Um, sepsis kills more people than prostate, breast, um, cancer put together um, and it also um, has a higher mortality rate than those that have heart attacks or strokes. Um, and that's what's really scary when we consider that only one in three um, people within the UK have an awareness of sepsis. Um, so, and, and of those that do have an awareness, only 45% of them could give any information relating to sepsis at all. And this is why it's really important that we put sepsis at the forefront of, of all medical professionals um, so that we are really driving this as a, as a um, public health initiative um, to raise awareness in relation to this condition. We've done a lot of work around sepsis recently and we're really proud to be able to say that from January, since January 2016, uh, over 90% of our patients that attend um, our emergency admission areas um, receive the appropriate screening and treatment within, within the hour or the golden hour time frame. Um, and that's a real achievement for us as a trust. In terms of the actual work we've done, what we've kind of done, uh, certainly in the emergency department, we've changed our screening process and, and that's also reflected in uh, the surgical decisions area, the acute medical unit and soon the child's assessment unit. Um, so what we're doing is rather than now wanting people to think sepsis, we're automatically um, screening for them. Every patient that comes in will be automatically screened for sepsis. Uh, and it's simple measures like this and by engaging staff um, that has shown a real improvement um, in, the, in the care that we deliver.